Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So today I've got a VW Group high performance SUV drag race for you because I'm sat in a Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. Next to me is a Lamborghini Urus. Next to that is an Audi RS Q8. And next to that is a Bentley Bentayga W12. And they're gonna drag race them, see what happens, see the performance difference between these different cars, even though they're from the same group. It's gonna be interesting. Let me tell you about this car. So it has a four liter twin turbo V8, but it's made to an electric motor. It's got some batteries on it. As a result, it produces 680 horsepower combined and 900 Newton meters of torque. It's quite a heavy thing. It weighs like over two and a half tons actually. So it costs 123,000 pounds. Now to find out about the Aurus, I'm going to speak to its driver. It's Mr. Yanni from Yanni Myers. Yanni, how are you? <whistles> He's asleep. Or he hasn't got his radio on. I'll try that again. Yanni. How are you? Hi, Matt. I'm really well, thank you. Really, really well. Were you asleep or were you on your phone? I was on my phone, but to be fair, when I jumped in the car, the actual mic was turned off. So tell me about the Auras. Give me the stats on that, will you? It's your job. I'm here just to drive the cars and own them. <laughs> and own them. Need me to tell the people about the stats on your car, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Yes, please. Okay, so it's got a four litre twin turbo V8, same engine that's in this, but it doesn't have the extra electricalness. Still, it pumps out 650 horsepower and 850 newton metres of torque. Got four wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox. It's lighter than this. Lamborghini, quite about. 2,200 kilos. That thing costs 160,000 pounds. Next car is the Audi RS Q8. Audi RS Q8 driver, do you know the stats on your car? I do indeed. Would Ooh. you like me to uh, rattle them off? Yes, please. It's got a four litre twin turbo V8. It's all wheel drive. There's an eight speed torque converter gearbox. It produces 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. It's 2.3 tonnes and it costs 101,000 pounds. Well, Audi RS Q8 driver with no name, you go straight to the top of the class and... Yanni, take note, OK? He learned his stats. Now, we have the Bentley Bentayga. Its owner is Michael. Now, please tell me that you know... The information on your car. Yeah, it's black Bentayga, rolling on 24s. That's it. Well, let me tell you about his car. It's got a 6-litre W12 engine with 608 horsepower and 900 newton metres of torque. 8-speed automatic gearbox. It's heavy as well. It's almost 2.5 tonnes. Very, very quick car. And it looks a bit different. The car doesn't look like a normal Bentayga. It reminds me almost like the gills in the bonnet. Bit of a certain dinosaur. Do you guys see that? That's my dinosaur noise. Anyway, what is that body kit on it? It's an Onyx body kit. Do you think that's going to actually add drag and slow you down? It's certainly my excuse for losing, 100%. <laughs> All right, and well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Now, before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn in notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at CarWowCars. Anyway, let's get on with the racing. As is customary on a CarWow drag race, we're going to first do a sound check. All these cars have V8s apart from that Bentley, so let's see if they sound different. Start with this Porsche. Sounds a bit better, what do you think? Okay, let's have a listen to the Audi. Rev up the Bentayga. I'm assuming you revved up your Bentayga, Michael. I couldn't hear it from where I was sitting. Stealth mode. Well, you won't want stealth mode now because it's drag race time. We're going to get on with the race. Yeah, of course I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> It's so close. No, the Oris is coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Nana. Get in your speed now. Come on, Porsche. Oh, God, it's so close. Here we go. Come on, baby. Lambo all day, every day. Go on, Lambo. Yes! I think you might have just won it, Yanni. It was so close between me and you, though. Was close, and I ain't gonna lie, I was jumping up and down like a madman here. Yes! Do you know what, though, Michael? I think you got the better start in your Bentley. 
I was messing around with the brake and then suddenly before I knew it, the hands were down and I was off. I'm not sure what happened between you and the R8. Those vents in your bonnet, they just, they're like an air brake. I think they held you back. If it had just been the normal bent taker, you might have won. <coughs> what happened to the RSQ8? Well, I got a really good launch and I think I was level pegging with Yanni for a bit, but then he pulled away and I just couldn't hold on. Well, it has got 50 extra horsepower and costs 60 grand more. Do you think it's worth extra money, that? Urus over the RSQ8, because the RSQ8 is a better looking car, isn't it, Yanni? Honestly, Lambo all day, every day. And for me, what I'll say to you is what the number plate on the Bentayga is. Why are you silly? So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini just beat the Porsche, though they both did the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. The Audi managed 11.7 seconds, and the Bentley came last, completing the quarter mile in 11.8 seconds. We're going to a rolling race now from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort. This is in hybrid, they're all in automatic. Let's do it. You ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. Come on, fill in talk. Yes. See you, Yanni. See ya. Oh, crap. Gone. Oh, oh, God. How quick are you going to be going when you finally get past me? Come on, Porsche. It's coming past now at 124 miles an hour. And the dinosaur is extinct. RSQ8 is going to catch that Bentayga because of all that drag. Come on, RSQ8. Right, brake now, guys, because there is an end of everyone. Brake hard. I think the RSQ8 was coming past that Bentayga then. Was it? It wasn't just getting in on the Bentayga. I reckon I'd have had the lot of you eventually. Please. I took off the best because I've got like this electrical motor that fills in the torque gap of the engine. So it just took off, but then the Urus came past and weren't. And I think the Urus Q8 was going to pass the Bentayga. Now we're going to have a rolling race. The car's in the sportiest settings, locked in third gear, manual mode. Come on, baby. Come on. You got this. You ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. Oh, this picks up so well. That torque fill from the electric motor. Gear change. Now, if you change, oh, come on. It's close though, between me and this Urus. Come on, I'm gonna take the Urus. Uh oh, Kyan's coming. I'm gonna come past you, Yanni. Goodbye, Yanni. Goodbye, see you later. I've won this one. That's enough. Break hard now, guys. Break hard. What on earth happened to the RSQ8 and the Bentayga? Well, it took off pretty well, and, uh, and I pulled in and overtook the Bentayga, but I couldn't hang on to the two of you. This Porsche just dropped the two of you, and it dropped the Lamborghini. Then the Lamborghini came back, and then I went past the Lamborghini. What the hell happened there? It definitely didn't drop me. You just come past me. Let, let's not get it twisted, yeah? You come past me slightly. But what do we always say? The drag race is the one that counts. I definitely dropped you. You were being dropped. Absolutely dropped. Like if um, I wasn't worried about running off the end of the runway, you were just totally dropped. 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 Final challenge is the brake test. When we reach the line, full emergency stop from 70 miles an hour. I'm going to left foot brake this. I've got a lot of weight going on. Here comes the line. <laughs> Lambo all day, every day. Yeah, I think you might have just about won that. I'm not sure what happened with the RSQ8. Did the RSQ8 just do a bit of a better job than this Porsche? I don't know, these things are so blooming big, I can't tell where the front is. It looks like your, your front wheel is bob on that line. If mine is too, then I guess we're even. No, so your front wheel is probably about half a meter off the line. Where is the Bentayga's front wheel? About half a meter behind. The line. So it's between you and the Bentayga. I'm gonna to have to go out and adjudicate because I like to get out and adjudicate. This will be fun. I get to do my special run. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I make myself laugh. No one else laughs. I can see for sure that the Bentayga has beaten the Audi, which beat me, but overall the winner 
was the Lamborghini in the brake test. And I hope you can hear me because it's blowing windy. Look at it, look at my head. It's right all messy because I've had it cut nice and short. See you in a sec. Run, Forrest, run! That was a win for the Lamborghini. Second, the Bentayga. Third, the Audi. Fourth, this. And I thought I did really well. Overall then, Yanni, I think you won that challenge and the whole drag race overall, didn't you? So happy. So, so happy. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. If you want to follow Yanni, it's Yanni Myers. There's a link below the video. Also, please check out our merchandise. Once again, that's below the video in the carousel. We've got some cool designs there which you can buy. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah, but my wrist never looked like this because I had a narrow body kit all the carbon everywhere, so it looked a lot wider. I see you shaking your head, but I don't like to leave things standard. <laughs> and honestly, as you keep doing that, I own my cars. As I'm in a borrowed car right now. <laughs>